Hi. Hi, Michelle. This is James. We are the Thai Life Homestead. Welcome to our channel. Thank you to all the amazing new subscribers <laughs> that, that have recently joined. And thank you for all the comments and all of our videos so far. We really appreciate it. I really love reading them and responding to them. I uh, just wanted to take a moment to introduce ourselves and tell you a little bit of background about us. We're both from Big City. Uh, I'm born and raised Big City. James is actually from out in this area where we live now. So he's kind of gone back to his roots, which is really awesome. Sit down. We decided a year ago that we wanted to change all of that. All of our city hustle and bustle and the craziness of the city, the energy, everything about it just wasn't working for us. So uh, we looked for properties for six months and we're lucky enough to find this beautiful three and a half acres in the East Kootenays of British Columbia. Um, we've been here for just about a year. We're almost at our year. Year in June. It'll be a year in June at the beginning of June. We've done a lot of work on the properties since we've been here. It needs a lot of work. It's a fixer-upper. Uh, one of the things that we are really passionate about is food. Sit down. Good girl. So yes, one of the things we're passionate about is our food and what we eat and what we put in our bodies. And where it comes from. And where it comes from. So we learned to grow for the first time last year. We had never grown an actual garden to eat out of. I've never actually planted anything. Yeah, James hadn't actually planted anything. So, I had to show him how to plant. <laughs> so we actually did amazingly well last year um, with our greenhouse that was on the property. And we have plans for a new greenhouse, which will be 30 by 30. Uh, we want to build round earth walls and have a GAT system, which is an acronym for ground air heat transfer. We want the greenhouse to be functional all year long. Like James said last year, we started with not really knowing anything of what we were doing. We started seedlings in the city and transplanted them here, brought them here in my car. My Actually, my car was full of plants. <laughs> That's how many we had. We had all the veggies. We had everything from broccoli, zucchini, uh, tomatoes, everything, and transplanted them all into our current greenhouse, which we'll show you in a moment, which we upgraded quite significantly after we moved here but it was a great start and it worked really, really well. I'm really hoping we didn't have beginner's luck last year. No. I don't think anybody's ever done a rammed earth geothermal greenhouse, have they? I haven't, I haven't seen one. Yeah, so, so this could be very groundbreaking and stay along for the ride and we'll take you on a tour, take you through the whole process of how it goes. Um, I also wanna show you how I start my seedlings indoors and we're gonna do that right away. I'm going to take you inside and show you that after we're done here. But for now, let's go inside the greenhouse. Right, here is the greenhouse. Now, we live in Canada, so we've gotten a lot of snow this winter. This has actually melted quite a bit. At one point, you couldn't even see half the plastic on the greenhouse. It was completely full of snow all around the edges. We also had some structure failures with the plastic. Um, the snow on top here caved in the plastic, so we've got some not so good um, planters in here that got a bit of the wrath of the snow falling down. You can see it inside here. So when we took over this greenhouse, it was completely overrun with weeds, the entire thing completely and James built these awesome cedar planters, raised bed planters. The middle was all tomatoes. So we had tomatoes going all the way up, growing all the way along here. We had an amazing tomato season. If you've ever eaten a greenhouse or a garden grown tomato in comparison to a store bought one, you haven't lived. <laughs> Let me tell you, there is nothing like it. Uh, we planted, we had everything in here uh, completely covered in herbs, veggies, kale, uh, uh, zucchini, oh my gosh, what else? Sage, I even did beans here, you can see my leftover 
string for beans. We had cucumbers. It was just a phenomenal growing season. I had more veggies than we, I could possibly cook with and eat. So yeah, this is what we got right now. This is to build our new greenhouse. We're going to have to uproot this a little bit, move it out of the way slightly and make room for our new greenhouse. But in the meantime, this is where I'll be planting again this year. Last year when we grew our own food, it was one of the most rewarding experiences I've ever had in my life. Being able to grow from seed and eat it and eat make it. beautiful food and the way that it tastes is something that I can't express highly enough. If you have the option even to grow a tomato plant in your house in a windowsill. Convenience too, like being able to come out to the greenhouse and just pick what we eat. Mm -hmm. like literally right before our meal mm -hmm. it was really really cool and it inspired me in my meals it's like oh we've got a ton of kale so let's make a kale thing or we've got a ton of arugula so let's figure out something to make with arugula whatever is freshest and in season it's just a whole new relationship with food Here we are in my kitchen and I'm going to show you how I get my seeds ready for um, planting for the greenhouse. The first thing that I like to do is I like to test, test the pH balance of the water. These litmus strips, link them in the description below. Uh, what you want to do is you just take a dropper or a syringe, pull some water out. This water is our natural spring water that we get from the mountain. So I'm just going to test to see what the pH balance is on this water. We want it to be as close to 5.5 as possible. So on this it has a little dial of colors that this litmus paper will turn to and it'll tell me what the pH balance is right now. But what you're going to want to do is grab some pH up or pH down liquid. I'm also going to link this in the description. So if you need to bring your water up or down for your pH balance, you're going to want to add a really small amount to the water and then retest it. So it looks like I'm going to have to go down quite a bit. So I'm going to grab my pH down. Squeeze out the rest of the water from there. I'm going to pour some into the cap. We want to just take a really small amount. I'm going to drop that into the water. Give it a stir. These are called peat pellets. They're compressed peat moss. Um, we're going to grab some warm water. I have this heated to 41 degrees Celsius. And you simply drop the peat pellets in the water. And what they do is they expand. And they become little peat pods, perfect for planting seeds. Okay, so our peat pellets have absorbed a bunch of the water and are nice and fluffy now, ready for some seeds. So you just take them out of the water, pop them into these trays. So I've got one um, germination tray here with no holes in the bottom. And then I have a little peat pod separator tray that you can buy at your local store. Uh, I will link this as well in the description. So any grocery store, um, garden store will have these. So we're gonna pop in a row of these ready peat pods, peat pellets, peat pods. I call them peat pods. Sometimes they're called peat pellets. To each his own. I'm gonna grab a little pencil. I'm 
make sure you can see this. I'm going to open up a small little hole in the top to show some of the soil here to get at it. Okay, and then I'm gonna grab my seeds. So I'm gonna put three in each one. That way you're guaranteed at least one of them is gonna work. In most cases, they all work. So this is Swiss chard. I'm gonna start with that. I'm gonna take a couple little seeds here. And I'm gonna pop them in. One, two, three. I'm gonna do tomatoes. Tomatoes are great to get started early. Like I said, I had really good luck with tomatoes last year, so I'm really hoping that will be the case again this time. Wow. It says there's supposed to be 10 seeds in here. Wow. Two, four, six, eight, ten. That's insane. I paid $9.99 for these, and there's literally 10 seeds. These babies better work. I'm also gonna label these, so I'm gonna keep these handy. So we've got Swiss chard, tomato. Okay. So another good one to get started early is peppers. So this was this one's right on red. Juicy snacking peppers. They look like they're gonna be small when they grow, which is fine by me. So we've got two more left here. Wow. Not very many seeds in the pack. The seeds are in there. You just want to pat the soil back over on top of it. So it just gets planted. The seeds just get planted literally right below the surface of the soil in your little pod. So as long as they're covered up, they'll be good. So I'm about three quarters of the way done my tray. Just waiting for some more of the peat pods to uh, hydrate in the water. I moved up to a bigger bowl because you have to pH balance the water every time and it just makes more sense. Uh, so I just wanted to talk about some of the um, seeds that are good to start early. So broccoli, tomato, peppers, cauliflower. These are all good things to start early um, and do in this method as opposed to waiting until your greenhouse is ready and planting there. Then you'll get a head start for the growing season. All right, so I managed to miscount by one. <laughs> so I have one peat pod in the water to finish off my tray here. And as you can see, I've got everything labeled. Uh, we've got Swiss chard, broccoli, kale, cauliflower, tomatoes, peppers, different kind of tomatoes, some cherry tomatoes and celery. So these are all awesome things to get started indoors early. Uh, and I'm gonna finish off this one little guy and then I'm gonna show you the next step to get them going. Tray here, I have a, actually I'm gonna show you that first. I have a seedling heat mat that I use when I start my seeds. Here it is here. I have it linked in the description as well. 
Uh, this is just a little heat mat, it's already warmed up. You just plug it into the wall. Heat is gonna help your seedlings sprout quicker. I'm gonna put it on top of the seedling heat mat. I'm going to cover it up with the dome. The dome keeps the humidity in and keeps everything nice and toasty warm. Every day, once a day, you're gonna wanna come down and take the dome off and just let it aerate, aerate a little bit, let some airflow get through there for a couple of minutes. That's a really good time to check to see if this is dry on the top. The little um, membranes that are holding the peat pods together, uh, they're biodegradable by the way. Uh, they, if they look dry on the top, is a little bit dry, what you wanna do is grab a spray bottle. I have this pH balanced to 6.2. That's where you're gonna wanna be at the next stage. Just give it a light mist. Definitely don't wanna over water. If your peat pods have completely dried out, you're gonna to wanna to bottom water, so very similar to what I showed you in microgre microgreens. So you would just add your 6.4 pH in um, some sort of a container like this, get your water all ready, and then pour it into the bottom. Don't pour over top, okay? Then we're gonna put our dome on. Okay, and then we've got our grow lights, our LED grow lights. And I'm gonna pop that, there's a little slot on the dome, which is very handy. I'm gonna pop that right on there. Oops. Get in. There she goes. Now, next thing is we have this handy dandy timer that plugs into the wall and then it plugs into the light. It's got a little plug on the side here. We set it for 18 hours. They're gonna need 18 hours of light a day to get going. Uh, it's really rewarding to see this happen. <laughs> Every day you can come down and check and you'll see your little sproutlings. You can, another reason why I label them is you can see which ones are coming up quicker. And yeah, this is basically all I can show you right now. I will do definitely do some updates. This is just episode one of seedlings and getting ready for the greenhouse. I hope you all enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.